Here's something I found most interesting. Let me read it to you. The Law of Giving. The universe operates through dynamic exchange. Giving and receiving are different aspects of the flow of energy in the universe. And in our willingness to give that which we seek, we keep the abundance of the universe circulating in our lives. I will put the law of giving into effect by making a commitment to take the following steps. One, wherever I go and whomever I encounter, I will bring them a gift. The gift may be a compliment, a flower, or a prayer. Today I will give something to everyone I come into contact with. And so I begin the process of circulating joy, wealth, and affluence in my life and in the lives of others. <clears throat> Two, today I will gratefully receive all the gifts that life has to offer me. I will receive the gifts of nature, sunlight, and the sound of birds singing, or spring showers, or the first snow winter. I will also be open to receiving from others, whether it be in the form of a material gift, money, a compliment, or a prayer. <clears throat> Three, I will make a commitment to keep wealth circulating in my life by giving and receiving life's most precious gifts, the gifts of caring, affection, appreciation, and love. Each time I meet someone, I will silently wish them happiness, joy, and laughter. Now, I'm not advocating that you empty your drawers and sack your safe and start pumping out jewelry to dump on some unsuspecting and unappreciative souls. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you give away lots of your work, although you can do that if you want to. I am suggesting that you give something away. Carefully select a person and either make a gift or choose something that you've made and present it to them in a way that matters. I am suggesting that you re-evaluate your motivation and priorities. If you like making, don't get confused and discouraged if your work isn't snapped up by Barney's. I don't think selling it is what motivated you to do this. So back off. Perhaps you can make less. Perhaps you can invest more time and effort and think more about what you do. You can put more in your work rather than get more out of it. And here's a truth waiting to be discovered. If you love doing something for pleasure, doing it for money will likely reduce the, pre the pleasure. A door in America is not for everyone. Clearly, if you're a maker and you survive by selling your work, great. Keep going.